Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another episode of Margin Starcraft and today we're gonna be on Delta Quadrant that's right sticking to the games of um, on non-linear maps and we had that's right Liquid TLO versus the Protoss Kiwikaki and Liquid TLO was playing the Zerg so it's basically gonna come down to will Kiwikaki manage to continue his double uh, his uh, oh, his double to continue his winning streak while well, he only has one uh, on my channel against pro, uh, against Zerg so far he's been doing really well uh, really well he may have lost two matches against ODSJ but he did manage to beat uh, Mouse Maro with a lovely lovely just lovely economical build and just go on pressure using uh, uh, what you might call it using motherships but now he's facing off the he's facing off against TLO and we all know TLO can just bring something out of nowhere to win the game and we have an early probe for Mouse Maro uh, for <laughs> Mouse Maro for Kiwi Kaki excuse me bringing in here and gonna see that nothing is up meanwhile Overlords are gonna go across the map and gonna be a while until TLO manages, uh, actually manages to scout. Standard build time for uh, Kiwikaki on the gateway and the pylon, so nothing really, really special there. Meanwhile, I believe we have a extractor, that's right, an extractor and a spawning pool, so no early expansion for Liquid TLO as of yet. I suppose he just wants to get that queen and start getting the drone count up because, uh, as I said, uh, Kiwikage loves to play macro, loves to get macro, and I, as you can see, standard opening, no longer actually opting to go for a forge defensive because... Full defensive on this map is not necessarily that good. You can get your you can get your natural right here, which is behind the main, and it's quite easy to defend against ground units. However, he is playing against a Zerg, and Zerg can use mutas. So we'll see. But standard opening, and now actually Liquid Yellow deciding to use his drone to attack the Nexus. That's right, actually took taking down 10 HP from the Nexus, but look at that shield just boom popping back up. Meanwhile, the Overlord is slowly, slowly gonna get there uh, and gonna probably hover over the Protoss base and see, hey, what are you guys doing? What are you guys building? Uh, as you can see, Kiwikaki is also trying to stop TLO from expanding because this is a very is is a better position for Zerg to expand because uh, they can early expand here without any problems uh, because they have to actually take the rocks out on this point. We have a couple of Zerglings moving out across the map so we are, go we are going to see very early pressure from TLO with these Zerglings. However, I do believe yes, the Stalker is done and we do have a pylon here. The Stalker is done and the Stalker will be probably able to ward off these Zerglings because Zerglings aren't that good against Stalkers especially with this such a nice micro with such a such nice micro from Kiwikaki and these Zerglings do not have speed. Speed is almost done bringing in a couple of more Zerglings. Gonna take out this pylon and believe it or not early game taking out a pylon is huge. There's actually a drone in here. I don't know what this drone is doing here. It's just here to do some uh, something. Meanwhile these Zerglings actually trying to do some damage and there we go that pylon taking down which means the good old mouse uh, good old Kiwikaki needs to produce another one. Um, I am actually curious if Kiwikaki is still part of the Root Clan, it's no longer part of his tag, uh, it is part of his tag on the replay site, so I suppose he is, he simply just probably has a um, other account for such, such, um, such situations uh, where he actually just you know wants to play normally without actually losing stats, without actually playing inside the... Uh, inside the GSL, also taking out that gateway, which was huge. Well, probably, uh, probably Kiwikaki managed to cancel it. We have two more gateways on the way. Warp Gate Tech is, I believe, done, me done, done. So now the early pressure from TLO. We'll see if that matters. They're gonna try and delay this gateway as well, but not gonna happen. Stalkers actually in here to scare away the Zerglings, but TLO is not wasting any time on his macro and as you can see already securing a second base and gonna lay down a spine crawler maybe a second one for the defensive 
And these Zerglings are just gonna be quite annoying here. I'm gonna try and take out, just do a little bit of damage, but they can't do that much. There's also a Sentry here, so Sentry, a couple of Zealots, and these um, Stalkers are gonna ward off this ma massive Zergling army quite easily for now because of this, if you look, this very nice uh, fortress right here of Zerg of Protoss buildings, and just very nice indeed for Kiwikaki. Which means that good old TLO has now two queens. Let's see, does he have three queens? Yes, he has three queens. You might wonder, why does he have three queens? Well, a lot of Zerg players have been using a third and a dedicated queen for creep tumors. It allows your creep to be spread that much faster. And here we have now, Kiwikaki is feeling fairly confident about his army size. We Let's check out the units tab. As you can see, six Zealots, two Sockers, one Sentry. Six Zealots are gonna plow through these Zerglings. However, more Zerglings are getting... Uh, Produced, I believe there's no roach war around the roach one is almost done, but most more zerg Zerglings creep tumor spread is very nice indeed already securing the ramp I suppose the spine crawlers could be positioned to defend this ramp, but I suppose yeah But you can see they can have a run by right here So the spine crawlers are in a nice position meanwhile I oh really gotta stop saying meanwhile um TLO has found out that now finally Kibikaki has decided to expand and getting a forge so we will have photon cannons here. We'll see no high tech, no there is uh, layer tech soon on the way. Uh, we'll soon have murals on the map I suppose or whatever else TLO decides to throw at this guy. But I don't know, I don't know if we look at the army size we have their both players at 60, uh, 61 supply now 63, 62 and using one zergling which is I believe half a supply. I have no idea at the moment. Um, let's find out how much is a zergling. Yeah, one zergling is half a supply. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see how it ends. And now, finally, finally, uh, Kiwikaki it decides to move in here. There are two spine crawlers here for the defensive, and a lot of zerglings, and a, one roach in there, and two queens. So queens don't have enough energy. Just using energy to transfuse larvae, produce as much units as can. Speaking of producing, production tab says we don't even have roaches on the way, but the roach woman is here. I suppose that could be only for tech. Hive is complete. Will we see a hydralist? That my was going to say. Will we see? aspire but we see a hydrolyst then meanwhile a robotics facility for um, Kiwikaki so I suppose we the robotics facility will probably bring out an observer at first remember observers are cheaper this is post batch post batch and and, and a Stargate, so we might also see a couple of Phoenixes or Void Rays, or even better yet, we're gonna see a Fleet Beacon and the Mothership play again. I don't know how this game will go, I don't know, and it's so fun to watch. We have now massing a couple of roaches in here. Um, uh, grew spines. I have no idea what grew spines. I believe that is for hydrolisks. Yes, that's right. Increases the attack range of hydrolisks. So hydrolisks will be come into play, and because of the upgrades, will probably be a important factor in TLO's army. Also, uh, securing the he's trying to secure the high yield, which will give the Zerg player, aka TLO, a big economical advantage and sacrificing another Zergling for the scout to see where the hell this army is up to. Army tab still favoring, strangely enough, favoring, well, for a second there, it was favoring Kiwikaki, now TLO is back ahead. Let's check out the income. Income tab is favoring Kiwikaki because of a higher number of harvesters now the observer is dead so the creep tumors are in danger and this creep spread will go back as you can see creep is slowly receding these couple of roaches have nothing to do burrow can no longer be an effect can no longer play a part of this game so researching that will probably not be a good idea because of the observer uh, i suppose an overseer should uh, be brought out to spot the observer however no hydros as of yet only one lonely hydro here i suppose only one lonely yes two hydros on the map at the moment I wonder how many are produced. Only one Hydra, strangely enough, two Overlords, and there is an Overseer to spot that Observer, and a Void Ray to take out Creep Tumors. Very nice indeed, very nice play uh, as of yet, using the Observer and the Void Ray to take out Creep Tumors. Uh, meanwhile, TLO is spewing Creep on... 
Hibikaki is a very easily securable natural, probably because he wants to delay it as much as possible. I suppose we'll see if Hibikaki decides to go for the gold. However, this gold is very in a very bad position right between the two players. While TLO's gold can be easily secured without actually having uh, to worry too much about it being attacked. Um, as I said, this gold is right. Uh, this gold would be right in the path of the two armies. While this gold is safely tucked behind all of uh, TLO's forces, and here comes a run around splitting the army zergling's gonna do a run by gonna run inside the main that is huge that is huge that is huge the zerglings oh very nice whipping in a zealot right there to block a lot of zerglings but zerglings are in here and there is a photon cannon here for defense now we'll see how these zerglings actually manage to do let's check out that income there is the mothership and thank god yellow has spotted it uh Again, not a fan of Zerg, but I am a fan of TLO, so go TLO, go. The Fleet Beacon and the Mothership, so we'll see how this goes. Another Mothership play from Kiwikaki. Meanwhile, the armies are facing off here, and this exchange will probably be won by Kiwikaki because of the fully charged Void Ray, uh, but the Void Ray falls and whipping in a lot of units. There are a lot of gateways. The Robot Fix facility is searching out extended thermal lands to deal with the Hydrolist problem. Hydrolist doing very nice damage indeed. Should take out this, should take out the Robotics facility on the Colossus is on the way i suppose he would uh, little tlo little one the little one has noticed and he is going to unpower these buildings i don't know if he can actually unpower them in time no but he actually takes down the robotics facility so no colossus uh and will he actually go for the bay? No, he's actually trying to go for the expansion. Probes being pulled off the line. Stalkers here. Re oh, the Overseer dies, which is very uh, sad indeed because this means that the Mothership is on the way and this entire army and the base will be cloaked and protected for TLO. And TLO needs to back out of this, needs to back out his units because he does not have a... Uh, he does not have a detector, warping in more units in the cloaking field of the good old Mothership, laying down a huge number of... Uh, Photon cannons, four, I believe, five, five photon cannons on the way. A robotics facility. TLO actually securing his gold to try and get up on the macro and trying to get, regain his income. As you can see, uh, he is behind in the income. He still has a lot of uh, hydras. Let's check out the units. Have 19 hydras, nine roaches, a uh, couple of zerglings, and uh, clearly in the army size, he's a lot from in a lot in a much better position than Kiwikaki. However, the mothership is a mothership, and this um, and this base is fortified find by five photon cannons that might not seem a lot but there are five of them and there's gonna be a lot of damage here comes the overseer and he needs to snipe off this mothership two overseers oh very nice using the vortex ability to suck in all those hydras and the entire tlo army is stuck in there losing the overseer i believe to the and good old stalkers and now TLO is in a very very bad spot when he's gonna pop out he's gonna just get uh, attacked by all these invisible units and he needs to back out needs to back out because he knows that he cannot fight an invisible army he can only shoot down the mothership but the mothership is fairly intact uh, where's that forge I want to check something an upgrade uh, Kiwikaki should consider his shield level 1 making the mothership a lot more robust um, but right now, TLO is in the behind. Strangely enough, the minerals say that he is actually ahead by 100 resources. But we'll see. I could fa I'm favoring Kiwikaki right now uh, when it comes to army size. But again, TLO has always been the man of 1,000 moves. He can pull something out of the hat that nobody has ever even thought of. Uh, and when you actually take your time to analyze the move and analyze the play, you realize that it's such an obvious play and such an obvious win and such an obvious move or counter. But TLO manages to pull them out of the hat on uh, just on a moment's notice. Meanwhile, securing the high yield, saturating the high yield with transitioning drones, and now the income will favor TLO. Also, you we have to we have to say that um, the main for Kiwikaki is almost mined out, so is for TLO, so both players on two base, only the problem is uh, TLO has secured its expansion, uh, Kiwikaki going for the gold down here, again on opting for the safe gold, this gold is just stupid to get, opting to get a safe gold away from the Zerg army, however, if uh, TLO decides to go for Burrow, I don't know if Burrow could be nice, uh, oh, whoa, 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 very nice, avoiding the entire army, drop ships, incoming, going to take out a lot of army, and here we come, the engagement, there are a couple of Colossi with the extended thermal lance, and that means that the Hydras are in danger, we'll see how this goes, the Overseer is behind, and taking out a gateway, taking out, he needs to take out the Fleet Beacon, uh, because, well, not necessarily, he needs to take out the mothership and the overseer runs in there and again another vortex uh, plowing the army of 
TLO capturing the army, overseers died and this entire army is going to die. The overlords are going to have to move out of there for their own safety when this army packs, packs up, as you can see, just getting, getting annihilated, Colossus out, out of there with an extreme range, plowing through all the hydras, stalkers just shooting, overseers getting morphed in here, I do not know why TLO is doing this, just probably to distract his army, he needs to move these overlords out, he is supply blocked at the moment, this is incredibly bad, <laughs> what it, wh apparently he even cries, WTF, what the hell, what the hell, what the hell, let's see what, um, uh, how can this even work? It's simple. He has a lot of Colossus. He has a lot of Stalkers. Uh, Mothership is a good unit. That's right. He's using his Stalkers to uh, snipe out any kind of detection unit. There is no kind of Terran on the map. Terrans can just, you know, scan and voila. Uh, so, <laughs> and this, yes, just TLO called the GG. TLO called the GG. TLO called the GG. And Kirikaki wins another match with the same play and the same awesome play using the mothership, using his great army against Liquid TLO. Liquid TLO did not have an answer for this play, ladies and gentlemen. Did not have an answer. So thank you guys for watching. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.